But the show is an hour and a half roundabout. Um, it's full of choreography. There's songs from all of my albums, and we're also doing two covers, which are both really good. Which I think is great because Australia hasn't seen too many shows with a lot of dancing. So it's going to be a very high-powered show. Yeah, there's lots of energy, <laughs> if I can maintain that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's just lots of fun. It's really good. Yeah. You seem to have a lot of lighting uh, and all the, all the dry ice effects. You've got, mm -hmm. I understand you've got uh, a bit of a whiz kid lighting there. Yeah, Jonathan Smeet, and he's English, and he's really great. So, yeah, it's going to be a good light show as well. I think what's going to make the show a lot better is that from the last tour, I have the same key people. I have the same MD, the same choreographer, and a new lighting guy. So we've all learnt from the last show what works and what needs a little work. So we just, everything's gone really well so far, touch wood. Um, so we can't wait to do it. Great. Now, the, your lighting guy used to work or stu occasionally works for Phil Collins, I understand. Mm, yeah, that's right. So that must be a bit of a buzz for you. Right? Yeah. Um, I think it's a buzz for him as well because, uh, once again, it's a dancing show, <laughs> all singing, all dancing. Um, so that's good for him, you know, he can do some really interesting things with the lights. Mm. Now, your, your backing band isn't uh, a particularly well known band. Uh, no. What, what are you trying to achieve there? Is, is there a sort of a hidden agenda to give some young Australian musicians a go or what? Well, I guess that's part of it, but. Um, more than anything, they're just good musicians and most of them are ses session musicians or uh, have their own band. Or... So it's great to get people from all different areas and um, the band sounds really good. Yeah. Now you've done acting, you, you've done singing, I mean I can, I can remember, I think we just had the second rerun of uh, The Henderson Kids. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you prefer? I mean, first singing or, or, or acting? Or? Both. It's hard for me to choose one or the other. Um, and the beauty of it is that I can combine singing and acting, or, I mean, they enhance one another anyway, so it's not really cut and dried like, here's my singing career and here's my acting career. Although I haven't done any acting for about. Mm, just over a year and a half, so I would I would like to do another film this year sometime. Anything in mind? No, not yet. It's it, firstly I have to find time to do a film and uh, the right script, the right director. I mean, everything has to fall into place. Maybe I don't know. I I said the same thing last year and nothing eventuated. I was just too busy. So we'll see how I go. Yeah, you've got a pretty big, busy schedule. What do you do and, and who are you when you're not being Kylie Minogue? Um, well, if I'm not being Kylie Minogue Proprietary Limited, I'm just being usual Kylie, <laughs> which means seeing, going out with friends, family. Uh, I, my idea of a good night is to just go out and have an amazing dinner and some ice wine and go out to a club or go somewhere. So I just do what most 22-year-olds do. Bit of a city girl or, or a country girl? Or? I would say I'm a city girl. So you're not I, into fishing and bushwalking? Bushwalking, I can take or leave. Uh, I, I like going out on boats, actually, which would be great in Perth. I, don't, I, I think we are trying to go out on a boat one day if we get time. So that would be great. Yeah, okay. Um, Slightly more serious, I guess. Uh, we're in the middle of a Gulf War. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Because I, I seem to remember a little uh, news story a while ago where you was either in a protest march mm -hmm. or you was close to a protest march. What do you, what do you think? Um, well, I'm, I've learnt my lesson about giving my opinion on subjects as important as that um, because I made a comment on drugs a short while ago and made it to Parliament. So I would not give my personal opinion on that. I was in a peace march. I was more there as, a, as a, an observer, I think. Uh, and unfortunately, I had cameras kind of stuck up my nose. Someone spotted you. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wasn't there saying, hey, I'm Kylie Minogue and I'm supporting blah de blah. Um, so I was a bit disappointed that that happened. But, you know, I, I would rather keep my opinions to myself on that. What about um, the environment and the green movement? 
in um, that at all? Well, I'm fairly outspoken about that. I, I could even see myself being more, um, more of a speaker on the environment as soon as I know everything. I would not like to be, uh, you know, telling people what to do unless I was really sure of all my facts and, and knew about the organisations. I just um, gave a cheque to the Australian Conservation Foundation actually. Um, I had money from the sales of my video donated to that. So, um, and with the recent competition to win tickets to come to Japan with me, money from the calls that you had to make to find out the information, I think that went to UNICEF. So, you know, I like to give to different charities, particularly environmental charities. Will we, will we ever, be, ever see Kylie Minogue singing a, a song that yeah. sort of promotes uh, the green movement, like, like uh, or something like that? But of course with a Kylie star. <laughs> um, well, I had a song on my second album that was, had a bit of that in it, but um, I, I certainly wouldn't do it because everyone else is doing it. Uh, if I feel the words come out of my mouth, then certainly I would do that, but not because it's a flavour of the month, no. Touching you, talking about songwriting, and in, and in particular your new uh, single and the video, mm -hmm. I've been told uh, in the new video you've got a, a tattoo on your back. Yeah. <laughs> it's not for real, I hope. No, it's not for real. <laughs> you have a bit of a problem with some of the radio stations not playing your, your songs. Mm. What would you say to those guys? Well, I'm, I'm amazed coming back from overseas, because I've been away for a few months, that, um, I'll say six months ago or eight months ago, there was no dance music on the radio whatsoever. And now there is, there's a whole lot, and I am getting played on quite a few radio stations, which is great. Um, I did just as well without them before, but it is really nice to have their support. In fact, my tour is... Um, sponsored by or, by Triple M in Melbourne and different different towns, um, so I you know I can't really say that I'm not being played anymore because I am. Does it does it worry? I mean, particularly that you're bringing so much money into Australia mm. as an export. I mean, do, do you think it's a f hey, come on guys, give me a break? Mm. Um, well, I know it's it's up to the programmers, and there a lot of them. I don't know what the story is now, but certainly. You know, eight months ago they were programming for um, for a different audience, um, and I wouldn't limit it to to radio stations. I would say in general that Australia has a problem with supporting their own talent. Um, I think it's better than it used to be, but uh, certainly we still do have the tall poppy syndrome, and I've been through it and come out the other side intact. <laughs> so I'm very pleased about that. All right. That's lovely. Thanks for that. Thanks.